Good afternoon. Hello and namaste from sunny California. I'm Sunil Mirotra and I'm honored to be asked to speak to you. Like you, I'm a budding author. My first book, which I'll show you, Shiva's Dance. Here it is, if I can get it. Shiva's Dance uh, was published by ISF, and I'm so grateful to them. This was my first effort at writing, and they thought it might be worthwhile for me to share my experience with you all. So here I am. Uh, I believe that each of us has a book, at least one book in us, which is waiting to come out. It, it is in us and it needs to, an expression. Uh, my book uh, took me 20 years to compose. The first 19 years, the book was incubating inside me. And then when the time was right, it, it started pouring out of me. About three years ago, I sat down to write the book and it was as if the book uh, wanted to write itself. So I let it go and I, I would go chapter after chapter without proofreading or editing the book because it was flowing out of me when I was all done is when I went back to proofread it and edit it. And that took me a, a year to do. And that was almost the happiest year of my life. I enjoyed reading what I had written because when I was writing it, it, I was lost. It was as if the book had taken over me. So I did not quite know how it was going to come out. So that's, that's how the book got written. A little bit of, about me. I was born in Almora, a small town outside Nanithal, and I grew up in Lucknow and Jabalpur, and I graduated from IIT Kharagpur in 1971. Since 71, I've been in the U.S., uh, it is almost 50 years now since I've been in the U.S. and I don't imagine that many of you are even half that age. Uh, so uh, I am retired now and live in a small town in California, in Northern California, in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. We are surrounded by lakes and uh, rivers and the mountain and you can see some of uh, our property which is on 12 acres of forested land and we've called it the ashram and it is perfect for us for our retirement. We see bears and coyotes and bobcats and so we live in nature and we are loving it. Uh, my book, Shiva's Dance. The book itself is a journey of self-discovery. Uh, I was, um, like most people, I was interested and still am interested in discovering the meaning of life, but more importantly, who I really am. Uh, this is a question that uh, Ramakrishna and encourage everybody to ask themselves as to who you really are. The Vedas tell us that, uh, tell, told me and tell us that I do not exist. I'm not this body. I'm not my mind. Uh, I'm not a physical being. So who am I? I did a deep dive into this question. Uh, I began to study the Vedas as a scientist. And I discovered that the Vedic sages were scientists like uh, Newton, like Einstein, 
and their insights are so profound and so deep that modern science is only now beginning to understand it. For example, their insight that the world we see and experience through our five senses is an illusion. That is not reality. Uh, that is not to say that it's not real, which is how it's misunderstood by many. It is to say that the, the world that, that you see, that I see, and we experience is created in our minds. For example, you're listening to me. And what is happening is that photo, photons are traveling from me uh, in California to you in Mumbai or wherever else you are. And they're forming images through your optical uh, system into your brain. And that's how you're experiencing me. But not only that, but you're experiencing me through your own background and history and everything else. So you have essentially created me. I do not exist. Now, uh, I would encourage everybody to think about these uh, insights as I have. And I can assure you that if you went on a journey of self-discovery, as some of you might be already on, uh, it will help you become a better writer. And to close this uh, section, I'm going to read you a paragraph from my book in the last chapter, which addresses the question, who am I? So here it is. My essence is not a thing. It cannot be detected by our senses. It is pure consciousness from which arises our mind, which in turn creates our reality. Each of us has an essence which is unique and special. It is who we are meant to be. It is our dharma. I have realized that what I took to be real, my sensory world, is unreal. And what, it, what seemed unreal is real. Uh, I have reflected on this and have many insights. And you can get my book on Amazon and read it if you're so inclined. But uh, what I want to say is, first, congratulations to each of you. I understand uh, that, that, that you all have written, um, written and submitted your uh, written work to ISF. And today is an award ceremony. So I congratulate each of you and I wish you good luck and all the best in your journey. So take care and be well. Thank you and goodbye.